well, you guys, happy day, happy day, happy night. It is a beautiful night. It is absolutely gorgeous here tonight. There's a nice breeze. It's nice and cool. It's about 75 degrees, no humidity. It is a gorgeous night. And we just came back from our friend's house who they have two little hatchlings that um, came out of the coop and couldn't figure out a way to get back in. So it was actually quite funny. We, we had to uh, round them all up and the moms were just having a fit and it was interesting. So talking about littles, I want to show you it's been about uh, another six days since my last video and boy, do I get some stuff to show you. This is really neat. Stick around. incubator is really awesome it says it's 100 degrees and these are our eggies that are in here and let's see I'll show you them there they are and we are at 26% humidity with 99.3 degrees which um, is I prefer 99 and a half but I just took off the towel so um, let's do this real quick, but uh, I have a feeling this is going to be really, really neat. I will try to do this with one hand, um, so if it's a little wiggly, you will have to. Alright, there's that. Alright, so right now all of these have the air pockets facing that way. So when it comes time to candle them, it's just super easy. I don't have to handle them too, too much. All right, so you can already see that. Really good veins. Check that out. Isn't that neat? You can see the chicken in there already. So that's a really good one. Yep, and that's a good one too. You can see the chick moving around in there. See it? <laughs> Let's check that one. Oh, that one has moved. Can you see the veins on that one? chicken's moving around in there. That's not my light moving. That's that chick moving. He's moving around pretty good in there. All right. This one. Same with this one. Let me see those veins. There's that chick moving around in there. So, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. There's the veins. Let's see. There you go. That's better. You can see that chick in there? See it move? <laughs> Hmm, that's interesting. It's awfully bright. I don't like seeing that. Let's see if we have any movement. Let's turn that one a little bit. I have to keep an eye on this one. see any movement but that vein is pretty big right there oh, wait here it is there we go it's alive 
Maybe it was just sleeping. Okay, we're good. Next. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a good one. Pretty neat, huh? It's pretty cool. Alright, next is this guy over here. Oops. Sorry. Now let's let's put you over here. Into this spot. It's gonna be easier to see. this one here. So this is um, about 11 days, maybe 10. But they're doing good. The, the air sac is getting bigger. All the chicks are very movable. They're moving, doing their little thing. Lots of stuff going on. Pretty neat. Now that one kind of worries me a little bit, but oops. I think it's still moving. Keep an eye on that one. I don't like it when there's a vein that's straight across like that. That worries me. So let's move this one into this spot over here. And we'll move these two over so I know to keep an eye on that one. All right, we're at uh, 93 degrees. Let's put that lid back on. All right. 92.4. That wasn't too bad. There. Easy peasy. Kind of neat, huh? So. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? So anyway, they are well on their way to becoming little chicks. And um, the next time you can candle them is at 18 days, which is locked down. Um, yeah, I might do another video there, but I'm pretty sure I won't have to. But uh, maybe the next time that you see these little guys, they will be out of their little shells and in their little brooder. But. Uh, you never know. I might do another one uh, to show you what really happens at 18 days because there's really not a lot you can see. <laughs> there's a lot of chicken that egg. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you learned a little thing or two and you got to see life as it's happening inside the eggshell. So have a great night you guys. See you next time.